Good morning, this is Steve O'Hare and today is Wednesday the 28th of July and today I'm bringing you the commodities analysis on oil and natural gas. We're going to look at uh, WTI crude oil and Brent crude oil before going into natural gas and we're looking at the different time frames uh, across all of those. So we'll start with the weekly chart and what we can see there from a, a technical standpoint. Obviously this comes on a, a backdrop of um, the OPEC plus nations looking to um, uh, raise oil supply uh, and but also the question of whether the um, the global demand outlook is going to be hampered by uh, the fresh uh, downturn in Chinese markets and uh, the corona uh, virus infection rates picking up. So uh, let's have a little look at um, the weekly chart and we saw a, quite an extraordinary candle last week where price action uh, moved aggressively lower to 64.80 uh, before reacting higher to, to close um, higher on the week. So um, had a, a bit of a test of support and we can see from the daily chart that that at support came in at a very, very strong trend line, which has been building from the swing low of April uh, 2020 and also the November uh, 2020 low. That uh, resulted in a potential upward trending support line coming in at around about 64, uh, 80, 90. And that's exactly where we stalled. The, the, we then formed a uh, morning doji star formation and this resulted in um, the prices pulling back rather aggressively over uh, a few days. So uh, let's take a look at on the WTI crude or really the levels to watch. Um, we have a previous resistance and it looks like a, quite a pivotal level uh, has turned into support a few times and acted as resistance as well. So for us, 72.52 uh, would be a good indication of whether the momentum is strong enough to uh, then look for an attack on the $75 level. 74.90 is uh, our secondary resistance. And then obviously 76.35 is uh, the recent and the yearly high. Um, below, we, we have support coming in around about the $70 mark again. Um, that was where we had support before, before we broke aggressively lower. You can see it here. Uh, below that, 65.60 and the low at 64.90. Uh, taking a look at the Brent crude oil, similar sort of formation, the impulsive five wave move higher, a corrective formation that we believe we're in now uh, has potential really for a move back up, maybe a retest of this downward trending resistance line around about the $75 area. Um, looking on the daily chart, again, a similar type of uh, morning doji star formation, not quite a doji, um, quite a bearish looking candle, but the reaction higher was from in front of the 6673 resistance and uh, yeah on the four hour chart again let's look at the closer levels we're really hanging around 73 74 area this has proved pivotal in the past and we're looking for it at, currently it's acting as resistance short-term resistance as you can see the volumes are uh, moving lower as we move higher so maybe a little bit of bearish divergence there even uh, 76 11 above that uh, is the secondary resistance followed by the main resistance coming in at 77.44. Below, we should find support around about the $72 level before the Ichimoku cloud comes in at 71.60. And below that, obviously, we've got the 67, the fresh uh, recent low of 67.33. Uh, looking at natural gas, uh, since we broke out the triangle formation, uh, this is this was back in uh, early June, 11th of June, uh, Prices have propelled higher in an impulsive move higher, but we have uh, saw some rejection of the recent highs and yesterday recorded a daily bearish engulfing candle, which is negative sentiment. And we have potential to really retest this uh, supportive level, which comes in at uh, $3.85, $3.85. Uh, we can see the swing highs, which acted as resistance before. So again, this is a pivotal level and one we really should watch to get an indication over the coming few days of whether uh, this uh, upward momentum is going to continue or whether we fail to hold on to these um, supportive levels at 380, 385 and then maybe revisit the 350 level. Um, the high that we're looking at here is at uh, 415 um, and if we hold on to these gains um, that we've made since the um, since the sort of like end of June, early July, then we could see a retracement back up to 
uh, test and challenge that 415 level, which is just in front of the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement at 721. Thanks for joining me. I hope this has been informative and look forward to seeing you again soon.